Hi, my name is Sierra and I'm here to, um, I'm first I'm going to start off by asking how many of you dreamt of going into space. Probably a lot of you. Um, but I'm here today to tell you uh, to vote against this bill being introduced in Virginia that allows private space travel. Uh, reason being is because private space travel is very expensive, it's not exactly safe. 100% and space travel should be limited to research purposes only. Um, and now with Jacob with more information at Newport News International Airport where he did the Aviation Academy. Thank you, Sierra. I'm here at the Tarmac at Newport News Williamsburg International Airport outside of the Aviation Academy where I attended high school. Um, so yeah, private, private space travel should not be commercialized. It should be left to the astronauts who have gone through years and years of training to be able to go up into space, primarily because it undermines everything NASA has done and everything that they have put forth and all the trillions of dollars the government has spent on this research. Uh, another problem is that it's just it's too risky. We have millions of, uh, 500, actually 553 people have gone into space, all of which have been NASA workers, none of which, none of which have been commercial. And 2003, on February 1st, the shuttle Columbia and the seven astronaut crew were launched during the Earth re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. So there's, if NASA is spending millions, billions, and billions of dollars on these vessels, and they're they're becoming destroyed when they come back into the Earth's atmosphere, who says it's not going to happen with a commercial vessel full of Not to mention famous and rich people. Uh, it leaves out the lower class because it's extremely expensive and it's just it's risky which is why it's expensive the lower class won't be able to afford it because it'll cost millions of dollars per ticket it'll pose more of a danger than people with a personal amusement there's a variety of research that needs to be done all the research that has been done has only been done because of the money that's put in there are many improvements that have to be made before we can relaunch a shuttle continuously into space Thank you, and back to Janaya and Thomas Nelson with more news. Thank you, Jacob. To wrap this up, space traveling is too expensive, it's not 100% entirely safe, and it should be limited to astronauts who serve a purpose in space. This is Thomas Nelson News. I'm Janaya Jones. Sierra Allers. Jacob Haney. And we're out. <laughs>